one of them produced a flag, and it was used to cover Calgano's body. Occasionally, the face was uncovered. More students and adults joined the procession, but United States soldiers stopped them when they reached a checkpoint a few blocks from the palace. The Americans told the demonstrators to disperse. They refused, even though by that time the soldier who shot Calgano had been arrested. One student was arrested, and another youth ran away from the Americans. After the students were searched for weapons, they were permitted to go ahead, still carrying the body of young Calgano. He was the latest of many martyrs being mourned by former President Bosch and his supporters. Last night, funeral services were held for another martyr, a workman shot and killed over the weekend. He was reportedly slain by Dominican soldiers because he fought on the rebel side during the Civil War. At a hospital in the rebel zone, Bosch visited members of his faction who were injured in the weekend fighting. The affection which Bosch's people feel for him enough to win the elections scheduled for next year. Bill Ryan, NBC News.